can do this with my eyes closed. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Sound so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tina. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war going on. Make me put my hands on my head like a Macarena. They want you walking on board like Kim. Ain't give a F to you like John Cena. Putting blood on the brand new Beamer. Trying to earn they stripes like Adidas. You get cold when you ride with the heater. It'll turn you to a dog like a Keto. And exposed to a cat like a cheetah. They smoke my partner like grief. Dime lo porque o no entiendo. Mi gente must really need Jesus. They shed real blood. I never seen the crypt and I believe it. It's too easy. Too, too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. Too, too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. All right, welcome in, welcome in, happy, what is it, Thursday, happy Thursday, Sean, what's up, how we doing today, uh, we got a small, smaller baseball slate today, um, let's see here, uh, DFS article is up, so if you guys play daily fantasy sports, DraftKings, FanDuel, you can go check that out on the website, dfscomer.com, got that posted, um, like I said, smaller slate for betting, but we're going to talk about it. Um, I've been getting screwed over the last few days, so we're, we're looking for a vibe change today. And th today's going to be good. Today's going to be a good day. Today's going to be a good day. Um, yeah, uh, I, I did not stream yesterday. I had some stuff going on. So Tuesday, Tuesday we had Zach Gallon under five and a half strikeouts. He finished with six, and I wish I would have went and found the video. The one strikeout to Aaron Judge was just... I don't complain about umpires, usually because... um, Like, as many times as it works against you, the umpire's missing stuff, it also helps you out. You know, so I, I don't complain about it, but when you have under five and a half Ks and the guy finishes with six, and one of them was a... a just it was two feet below the zone. I mean, it wasn't even close, like so unfortunate. So that that sucked. Um, and then T Tyler O'Neill, we had over one and a half total bases. He had like 18 at bats because they went to extra innings. He could only muster us one one single. He also walked once that bum. But uh, today we're going to change the vibes. We're going to have a good day. I can feel I can feel a good day coming. Is this Mar if is this uh Mets game still going on? It's 3-3 three, three in the bottom of the 10th. <laughs> oh my god. If I would have bet on the uh walk should count. Yeah, I agree. To be honest. Uh if I would have bet on the Mets, I'd be losing my mind right now. Because they were up three. What were they up? They were up what three nothing, three one at one point. Now they're in they're in extra innings. I probably if I would have bet the Mets today though, I would have bet them uh I've Mets money line. Yeah, Ryan, I, I was considering strongly to bet them first five. That would have cashed. Because they were up three nothing. Uh if I would have bet it, I would have bet first five. But yeah, I'd be losing my mind. Hopefully they win right here. I mean, there's two outs though. We'll see what happens. Uh, Fandle got lame with Dinger Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, it's it's okay. Like, at least it's something, but yeah, I, I do agree. Uh, Nathan, you said you're liking the Cardinals today. Miami just blows right now. Link yeah, I mean, that was a disaster by me. I, I will just say that right there. Um, Tuesday, I feel like I got screwed on a lot of stuff. Y yesterday, the, the Marlins, that was just a bad, that was a bad read by me. And, and not only was it a bad read, I went against my, my principles of just everyone in the world was on the Marlins. And then I just hopped right in with them and uh, I took that bait. So that, that one was on me. Apologies for that. That was not fun. Absolute disaster. I will say though, it started off bad. 
like it just started off bad when uh jazz chisholm you know doesn't i don't know he's standing on the fucking center field wall and can't catch a fly ball to center because he's so far back and then you know that allowed guys on base and then they just hit a they they hit a ground ball should have been a double play look to Bruhan at third base and it just goes under his glove and they just score runs and then you know they dropped another fly ball like the the just just horrible defense for the Marlins just just a bad team just an absolute it looked like a little league team out there can't even field ground balls or catch fly balls I don't know I don't know what was going on over there but that that was a bad read by me all right let's uh, let's go to the eleventh oh god. Detroit's favored minus 124 in the live line. It just moved to minus 120. Hopefully they win. All right, let's talk about today. I do have some bets I like. I tweeted them out earlier, um, but we'll, we'll go in order here. There's just four games. First game, we have Pirates and Nationals. Um, interesting line movement here. Pirates open at minus 130. It's uh, Marco Gonzalez, or not Marco Gonzalez, Martin Perez against Josiah Gray. Uh, Pirates opened at minus 130. They are very clearly the public side here, but that line is moving down to uh, down to minus 112. Uh, they're minus 118 on FanDuel, uh, which is just just interesting. Uh, do you like Shea Gilders having an MVP? I, I mean, I like I would be fine if he won MVP, but I don't think he has a chance of winning MVP. So I just probably wouldn't bet it. I just don't. I feel I just feel like he doesn't have a chance. Yeah, we need a we need a Bobby Wade at home run tonight, Sean. I agree with that. Um, interesting line movement here, though. Opened at minus one thirty. It's moved down. Public is very clearly on the Pirates. And then why I say this is interesting is because the line's moving that way, despite the public being on Pittsburgh. And then I opened up the money line predictor. And what is the number one play in the money line predictor today? Nationals money line. So. Yeah, I'm definitely not betting Pittsburgh just based off the line movement and the money line picture. I, I probably won't have a bet in the game. But the Nationals look like maybe a valuable bet here uh, on the money line. That that would be where I lean. I'm not a huge Josiah Gray guy, but I mean, I'm not big on Martin Perez either. Both these offenses have been producing the last couple games. So, uh, yeah, Nationals on the money line look like a, a decent play. And I, I might add it to my card. I might not. I'm not sure. But I don't know. Nats money line looks like a decent play. Uh, Gar uh, Guardians twins here. Guardians have been on fire. I don't know what's going on. Um, this is not a great offense, but they've been producing. They have, like, the best uh, run differential right now. They look really good. And they've been hot. But today they match up with the uh, Twins' best pitcher, Pablo Lopez. They have Tanner Bybee on the mound. I'm a Bybee fan. You guys can remember when he got called up last year. I was pretty high on him. But he did outperform his metrics by a good amount last year. So uh, Bybee's one of the guys that we were kind of anticipating a little bit of regression coming his way, coming into this season. He didn't pitch amazing in his first start. Pablo Lopez is very, very good. And it's just kind of like, do you think that the twins bats are, are going to wake up or not? That's kind of the question. Uh, they woke up a little bit yesterday. They actually scored some runs. I put a small bet on the under seven and a half in this game. Um, it was a little bit over a half a unit to pay half a unit under. If Bybee comes out and looks good, even though Cleveland's offense has been great, I'm just not going to, you know, predict them to have a big offensive output against Pablo Lopez. If he can get you six, maybe seven innings, get you to the back end of the Twins bullpen. And uh, he's been pretty good in Minnesota, and he's also been pretty good against the the Guardians. He, he doesn't have good. I, I'm not a huge BVP person, but um, when it's like interdivision stuff, I think sometimes you can get a good read on it. Uh, he's allowed well under a. 300 uh, expected Woba to the Guardians active roster. Doesn't have great strikeout stuff against them, but he's been really, really good overall against this lineup, uh, against this team. So I would probably side with the Twins here, but the only bet I made in this game was on the under 7.5 for a small one. This is my smallest bet of the day. 
and there, I mean, this is, I mean, this is pretty substantial. 48% of the bets, but 73% of the money. I don't value the splits as heavily as I do other sports for, for baseball, you know, but it is, you know, nice to see that. I feel like when you're on the side, um, so under seven and a half, small look there. Marlins Cardinals, Marlins are winless. Uh, I like the Cardinals today as well. So Nathan, I know in chat, you said you like the Cardinals. I like the Cardinals too. The problem is I hate when, when you start getting to a streak like this, like 0 and 6, 0 and 7, 0 and 8, the, the team is going to win a game at some point in baseball. So it's like, it's tough to like keep betting against them when it's, it's pretty certain that they're going to win a game at some point. I also don't love Lance Lynn. Lance Lynn is like notorious. He will come out and strike out 12, 13, 14 guys, or he can come out and he can give up five home runs. Like there is no in between with Lance Lynn. He throws a ton of fastballs. And if his, if, if he's not locating or if he just doesn't have his good stuff, he is going to get hit around. And that's just a fact, but he can also come out and look like a Cy Young winner and strike out a ton of guys. Like I'm going to, I'm going to pull up Lance Lynn's game log from last year. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, but that's what happens when you throw primarily fastballs and you know, if you're just not locating, like he relies a lot on locating his pitches. Cardinals home opener. Yeah, I did. I did see that. I did see that. All right. So let's look at Lance Lynn's game log last year. So he's got games like a prime example, his first start of the year last year against the Houston Astros, right? He pitched. He struck out six, only allowed two earned runs, right? This is like the best team in the league, the Astros last year. One of the best teams in the league. Allowed two earned runs, okay? Struck out six. The very next start, he goes up against the San Francisco Giants, who are obviously worse than the Houston Astros. He gives up eight earned runs, three home runs. Then he gives up three earned runs, right? He's got games where... Like right here against Cleveland, he goes seven innings, one earned run, seven strikeouts. He's got a 10 strikeout game, multiple 10 strikeout games in there. He's got a game against the Seattle Mariners, seven innings, three earned runs, 16 strikeouts, 16 strikeouts. Lance Lynn had in a game last year. And then he's got these games where he gives up eight earned runs, five earned runs, seven earned runs against the Royals, six earned runs against the Twins, seven against the Cubs seven earned runs against the Braves. Like it, there's just, you have no idea if you get good Lance Lynn, he's going to pitch good. If you get bad, he's given up at least two home runs. So I don't love betting on Lance Lynn, but I like how the Cardinals match up against lefties. So they have a good matchup offensively. And this Marlins team, they just look lost to me. Like, like I said, with all the errors and stuff, like they just don't look ready to play. So, So uh, I tweeted out, I'm going to take the Cardinals first five. I'm going to take Cardinals first five today. Pray to God, please. Can we just get some semblance of an MLB pitcher? Like, please, Lance Lynn, just get in there. Give me five innings, you know, maybe one earned run and the Cardinals home opener. Let's get, let's get some runs going for the Cardinals today. That's my take on that game. Cardinals first five. And, uh, yeah, if we get bad Lance Lynn, uh, yeah, just pray to God we get good Lance Lynn. Tigers up 4-3. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Ryan, you said hate the Mets. I hate that team, too. I bet on them one time, and it was not fun. Bums. That was a couple days ago I bet on them. God, I don't understand how they're so bad. They literally have, like, the biggest payroll. Like, they can get anybody they want, and somehow they stink. What a disaster. Hopefully there's two outs. Hopefully they keep it four to three and then, you know, you can, you know, they could tie it up or, or win. But if, if they get it to like six to three, I would not be feeling good about it. Uh, all right. Cardinals first five Cleveland, Minnesota under seven and a half small play six, three. Oh no. Oh, he did. He hit a single. Oh no. Oh my God. Mets are banned. I'll add Mets to the ban list. Yeah. I said in the Discord, I said I want to bet on them, but 
I'm probably not. If they lose, they might go ban list. They are ban list. I didn't even bet on them today in their ban list. What a disaster of a team. The Tigers are still undefeated somehow. The Tigers are like not bad. They have re really good pitching. Like I feel like for the breakout teams, like a, lo a lot of people were high on the Royals. I prefer the Tigers to the Royals season long outlook just because the the Tigers do have really, really good pitching. And I think that makes the difference. I was going to bet Mets glad I didn't. Yeah, Stephanie, I would be losing my mind. I will say, though, if I if I gave Mets out in Discord, I swear I would have bet first five. And anyone, like, if you guys know me if you're in the Discord. I bet first five a ton. Like, that's the majority of my bets I make are first five. So I, I would have bet first five. And we would have been all right. But, yeah, I'd be losing my mind if I bet on them. Up 3-0 and you, you can't even close it out. I mean, what are we doing here? All right. Uh, night game. I'm going Royals first five as well. So Cardinals, it was first five. I didn't take money line. If you want to pay the juice and take money line, you can. Obviously, I took the run line. So if they're not up by one, it's a loss. If you take money line and it's tied after five innings, you you, you get uh, you know, you get your money back. But uh, Cardinals run line first five. It was minus one fifteen. And then I'm doing Royals run line first five. Uh, we got that at minus 115 too. That one I think moved to like minus 125 the last time I looked. Uh, but this is a good spot too. So Mike Soroka uh, was one of the Braves top prospects at one point a few years ago. He did have one pretty good year, but he's really struggled to stay healthy. Last year, we didn't see a lot of him, but he wasn't quite as like, well, he wasn't good at all. Mainly because he, when when he was good coming up, he was able to mix in strikeouts and ground balls. And I love to bet on guys, guys that get a ton of strikeouts and they get a ton of ground balls. That's what I love to bet on because you don't have as much home run risk. And if you get guys on base, it's very easy to get out of it with a double play, ground ball, double play. So I love to bet on that. I used to like Mike Soroka a lot when he was coming up and uh, when he had that one good year, he's really struggled with health. And since he hasn't been healthy, he has not been able to get ground balls. That was his problem last year, and that carried over into his first start. He gave up four runs, didn't even get a strikeout, which is crazy. I'm talking like this was one of the better pitching prospects in all of baseball at one point, just a few years ago, and his first start, he didn't even register a strikeout. So really tough for me to bet on him right now. Seth Lugo is, is what he is. I mean, he's a solid MLB pitcher. He, he's not an ace, but he's definitely, you know, definitely better current form than – Mike Soroka and this Royals offense, like the Royals record is not good. The Royals offense has been hot. They've been scoring runs. Uh, M Michael Garcia and Bobby Witt are number one and number two right now in baseball and barrels per plate appearance. They have four guys over a 13% barrels per plate appearance rate. Bobby Witt, Michael Garcia, Salvador Perez, and uh, MJ Melendez. They look really, really good offensively. They steal a lot, which is very similar to last year's Diamondbacks team, which we were really high on. Uh, we bet on them a lot in the early months of the season. We we had a big bet on them to make the playoffs, which cashed. Obviously, they went to the World Series, but the Royals kind of mimic that. They get on base, they'll steal, and I definitely think they can they can grab a lead here at home. So Royals first five run line minus one fifteen. The odds might have moved on that. Cardinals first five run line minus one fifteen. Those are my two bigger plays for today. Home run pick, uh, definitely think you could target the Royals for home run picks. Uh, definitely think you could target the Cardinals for home run picks. I would I would probably stay away from the Guardians Twins just because it's the two, I mean, arguably the two best pitchers on today's slate are both from that game. So I would avoid that if possible. Uh, Pirates and Nats you could certainly look at as well. Martin Perez will, will give up some fly balls. So any of the right-handed power bats on the Washington Nationals look look good to me. For the Royals, I mean, you're looking at at lefties. Really, really either side of the plate. I feel like for the Royals, any any of those guys I just named that are barreling the ball up at crazy rates, Perez, Melendez, uh, Bobby Witt, or Michael Garcia. I wrote up in my DFS article MJ Melendez. He has. I mean, he was like a highly touted guy coming up too. He's looked really good this year and uh, he matches up really well with Soroka's pitch mix. So I like him today. You could look at MJ Melendez from there. 
uh, or even on the pirate side, obviously Josiah Gray gives up home runs. So, you know, someone like Jack Swinski, O'Neill Cruz, any, any of the power bats on the, uh, Pittsburgh pirates, Rowdy Telez, the let the lefties on, uh, Pittsburgh would be a spot for home runs, uh, righty power on Washington and, uh, KC Cardinals obviously going up going up against a lefty. You're looking at Goldie and, and Arnado. Those are two of the best left-handed, you know, two of the best bats against left-handed pitching in in the uh entire league. Goldie and Arnado. So that would be my uh where I would be looking for home runs. I, I'm curious what MJ Melinda's odds are. Let me see here. Uh, plus 500, not too bad, not too bad. I would put him on my list. Uh, let's look at that. Uh, let's look at that Pirates game here. MJ Melendez plus 500 is on the list. Uh, Sawinski is only three to one. I, I probably would not bet that. That's a little short odds. Even Cruz and Telez at they're all below plus four hundred. I I would probably just probably just avoid those. You you could probably like if they don't homer their first at bat, you you'll get better odds after that. So I would probably I pr probably just wouldn't bet those at those numbers. Um, Lane Thomas is interesting at, at plus five twenty. That's someone you could look at. Joey Manessis at plus five forty. Goldie and Arnado probably have just terrible odds. Um, no, I mean, plus 450 for Goldschmidt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd much rather play Goldie at plus 450 than Sawinski at, you know, plus 300. So home run picks, give me MJ Melendez plus 500. Give me Paul Goldschmidt plus 450. And give me Lane Thomas at plus 520, I think he was at. Yeah, plus 520. All right, there you go. Three home run picks. Round Robin, maybe if you want to do that. The Tigers are still batting somehow. I don't understand this. Oh, okay, they got out of it finally. They had the bases loaded again. My Lord. All right, someone in chat, give me your bets for tonight. Who, who, who do we like? Who do we like? I gave you mine. Royals first five. Cardinals first five. Cleveland, Minnesota under. Three home run picks. I'll be doing more props. Like I said, I, I've posted this to Discord a couple times. We'll be doing more props next week and as the season goes on. But I, I definitely like to get some data on these guys. Um, a, how they're seeing the ball and hitting the ball. But also B, there is a lot of changes year to year from pitchers, into, especially nowadays with their pitch mix, guys throwing new pitches, guys mixing up their, their pitch mix and stuff. So... I do like to get some data before we dive into the props fully. So there'll be more prop talk on the streams next week and the week the week after that and moving on. Next next week is going to be really fun. We have MLB and we have Masters. We definitely will be talking Masters on the stream next week, 100%. And spoiler alert, there will be live boots on the ground content from me from this year's PGA US Open. I will be attending the final round of the US Open this year at Pinehurst. Uh, the Sunday final round of the US Open, I will be there, boots on the ground. I will have content posted. Uh, obviously, we will be we we will have some bets, guys to sweat out. Uh, we might do some live, like I might post up at a hole and we'll just bet guys on that hole. But the content from the US Open is gonna be crazy. That is uh that is certain. Stephanie likes Guardians money line. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't hate it because they've been red hot and the twins have just not been great. So I, I really have no pushback for that. Mets Marlins can be awesome. <laughs> Diaper Fest to watch. Yeah, that's just uh wow. Sad. I, I feel bad for, for Mets fans. I feel bad for Mets fans, man. The 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 MLB. I've said this numerous times on the stream. 
the MLB is better when some of those big teams are good. It, it's just a fact. It, it's just a fact. The MLB, I I do not like the New York Yankees, but I watch the New York Yankees. There, there's nothing more American than just watching a Yankee game. The MLB is better when the Yankees are good. Like it's just a fact. Y- you can hate them. I root, I root against them when the playoffs come all the time. I hate the Yankees. But the MLB and baseball, it's just better when the Yankees are good. It's better when the Mets should be good. They're the New York Mets. The Mets should be good. The baseball is better when they're good. Mets had two on bottom nine. Yeah, I, I yeah. When right when I fired up stream, they had two got two guys on bottom of the ninth, and they couldn't they couldn't get it done. What the heck? What a disaster. Sean, you like Bobby Witt home run, Tim Anderson home run? Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that. Certainly, you could be looking at some Miami Marlins home run props because Lance Lynn. Like I said, if we get bad Lance Lynn, he's given up, you know, one or two home runs. So. Jazz Chisholm six to one. Jazz Chisholm six to one home run. That might have to go on my card. I'm at, I'm adding Jazz Chisholm home run. Jazz Chisholm has a home run off of uh, Lance Lynn. One home run and three plate appearances. Six to one is crazy, in my opinion, for for Jazz today. I I like that. That's good value. That's definitely good value. Mets signed Tehran yesterday? Yeah, Stephanie. I mean, what? What are we doing? What a disgrace. So, okay, if we round robin these, let's see. If we go Jazz... Um... Who did I say? Okay, we're going to go Jazz Chisholm. Let's go. We'll go Goldie in that same game. We'll go MJ Melendez. I mean, those three right there. I mean. And then let's go. Who did I say? Oh, Lane Thomas. Oh, my Lord. Those four guys. I mean, $10 get you 12000 But let's so round robin it. You could round robin it. Probably twos would be the best. Would be the best route. I don't know. I'll I'll look at it after stream. I'll look at it after stream. I like Jazz six to one though. That seems a little crazy. All right. If you guys have any other questions, you can hit me up in the Discord. If you want to sign up, betcarmercom slash pricing, get access to the tools that I use on the stream every day, my betting cards. All that good stuff. DFS has been on fire. If you play on DraftKings or FanDuel, we have crushed the beginning of baseball. We always crush baseball. And the good thing about baseball, it leads us right into NFL season. And you guys know what we do in NFL. When it comes to NFL DFS, we always get it popping. DFSKarma.com slash pricing for that. Sign up. Hop in the Discord. Um, My card is up. I mean, you guys got all my card today because it's a small slate. So, I mean, every bet I post in there... The odds might have changed, but I just gave them out to you on the stream. Good luck with your bets tonight. I will be live tomorrow, Friday, same time, same place. We've got uh, tomorrow we'll be doing MLB. We'll have a big MLB slate tomorrow, so we'll have a lot of MLB bets going tomorrow. And sweet, uh, not sweet, sweet, final four preview. Final four preview, college basketball tomorrow, as well as baseball. Tomorrow's going to be a good day on the stream. Three o'clock, same time, same place. Good luck tonight, and I will see everyone on Friday.